food preservation, the process by which spoilage of perishable foods is prevented using chemical or physical methods is called food preservation. Various methods that can be used for the preservation of food are number one, chemical methods, number two, salt and sugar method, number three, preservation by oil and vinegar, number four, pasteurization, number five, heating and canning, number six, cooling method. Chemical preservation of food. Food can be preserved by adding certain chemical substances which can kill the food spoiling microorganism. This method of food preservation is called chemical preservation and the chemicals used to check the growth of microorganism are called as preservative. Sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite are used in jams and squashes to check their spoilage. Common salt is used to preserve meat and fish. High concentration of salt removes water from the food material and retards the bacterial growth which prevents food spoilage. So, meat and fish are covered with dry salt to check the growth of bacteria. Salting method is also used to preserve amla, raw mangoes, tamarind, etc. Sugar. Sugar also reduces the moisture content of food which inhibits the growth of bacteria which spoil food. Jams, jellies and squashes are preserved by sugar. Protection with oil and vinegar. Use of oil and vinegar prevents spoilage of pickles because bacteria cannot live in such an environment. Vegetables, fruits, fish and meat are often preserved by this method. Pasteurization. Method of pasteurization was discovered by Louis Pasteur. This method was developed for preserving milk. In this method, milk is heated to about 60 to 70 degrees centigrade for 15 to 30 seconds and then suddenly chilled and stored. Boiling kills many microorganisms and sudden cooling prevents the growth of microbes. Commonly pasteurized foods include milk, ice cream, fruit juices, beer and non-carbonated beverages. Pasteurized milk can be consumed without boiling as it is free from harmful microbes. Heating and canning. Heating and canning method helps us to store foods for extremely long periods of time. In this method, food is heated at high temperature to kill all the bacteria and the can is sealed to prevent the entry of any new bacteria inside the can. Since the food in the can is completely sterile, it does not spoil. Once you open the can, bacteria enter and begin attacking the food. So food should be refrigerated after opening the can. Dehydration Dehydration Removal of water from fruits and vegetables is called dehydration. Dehydration reduces moisture content of food and retards the growth of food spoiling microorganism. Dehydration can be done by sun drying or by smoking. Vegetables are dehydrated by the method of sun drying. Fish and meat are dehydrated by smoking. Cooling method. Spoilage of food such as vegetables, meat, fruits, boiled milk, curd and cooked food can be prevented by keeping them at low temperature either in refrigerator or in deep freezers. This retards the growth of the bacteria and inactivates the enzymes present in the food items. Refrigeration has no effect on a food's taste or texture. Freezing has no effect on the taste or texture of most meats but it has minimal effects on vegetables and often completely changes fruits. Advantages of food processing Food preservation has the following advantages. Number one, it ensures availability of good food material even at the distant places. Number two, 
it ensures availability of non-seasonal food items throughout the year. Number 3. It decreases the food wastage. Number 4. It increases the shelf life of food material.